But let's talk trans identity and how do you know if you're trans? For starters, I want you to take a note that we're talking about subjective sense of self, meaning we're discussing an inner, personally felt sense of how you see yourself and how you feel about yourself in relationship to your gender. The subjective sense of reality, the sense of how you feel about yourself, is equated to your own truth. Man, I feel like a woman. <laughs> So I have proof that meat does, in fact, feminize men. Before I continue, I want to make a quick statement. This video isn't about me making fun of men transitioning or anything like that. If a guy wants to feel feminine and wants to become a woman, I'm all for that. I support anyone doing anything as long as it doesn't hurt others. I'm going to fucking prove that meat does, in fact, feminize men. Okay, now let's continue. Look how pretty steak and butter guy is. Oh, he's becoming a meaty cutie. Ooh, he wants to show off his sports bra. Carnivore men have perky A cups. They want the supple looking Bs so they can have something to squeeze to ensure their transition is coming in nicely. Holy fuck, the meat keeps his body tight and petite. Okay, now check this out. Look how he's grooming his hair down there. He's shaping the hair in a familiar way to make sure he feels like a beautiful woman. purposely showing off the armpit hair to show inner strength. And that beauty isn't about being hairless. It's what's on the inside that determines who has a beautiful soul. I found another photo of our little fairy. Look at Tinkerbell's shirt. Isn't this fucking cringy? The artwork and size is like something a young girl would wear. Do you see vegan men like Nimai Delgado wearing little girly shirts? Ooh, there's the carnivore cult leader, steak and butter gal, Bella. Look at her face, she's loving what she sees. I've come up with a theory and it's going to blow your fucking minds. I think Bella is a lesbian. Let me break it down for you. Over a period of time, Bella has been trying to kill her partner by feeding him the carnivore diet, which is literally the worst diet a human can be on. Then she releases a video where she mentally abuses her boyfriend, gaslighting him into thinking that he's the problem and not eating dead animals. I would not be surprised if she threatens his life off camera and possibly gives him bruises underneath his clothes. She's getting to the point where she has no choice but to try and transition him into a woman by feeding him massive amounts of meat. This whole time, she was into submissive females. The reason why she doesn't break up with steak and butter guy, she knows how easily he can be manipulated to do what she wants. And that's a quality she can't risk to throw away. Case closed! Tinkerbell and Sean Baker are good friends. So that means Sean does support this transition. He knows meat feminizes men, and I could easily see Sean feeling feminine off camera. He's just too embarrassed to openly show off who he or she became after each meal of steak. This photo isn't just for laughs of some kind. I know this because there's always something behind a joke and there's nothing Tinkerbell is making fun of, so don't give me that fucking lame excuse. It's time to conclude this video. Meat is feminizing men every day. That can be a good thing or bad depending on how you look at it. It's bad because innocent animals are being tortured and murdered just because selfish people like Steak and Butter Gal have to have everything their way. People like Bella only care about themselves and they'll destroy anybody's life by conning them into the carnivore diet. She's a horrible person and a narcissist. In her mind, she's never wrong and it's all about her. Look at this shit I found. If you go to Tinkerbell's Instagram page, Bella forced him to write. Steak and Butter Gal's number one fan and also has a link on his page to direct her cult followers to her social media. Does that sound like a healthy relationship? She's controlling the fuck out of him and he's scared to stand up to her. He's a pussy and is ready to have one between his legs. Now eating meat can be good if you're a male and want to lose all your muscle. And since carnivore men already have a mini weenie, oh, it'll turn into a tight, wet innie. Carnism is cancer.